Isaiah chapter 56, verse 10. Uh-huh. His watchmen are blind. His what? His watchmen are blind. The watchmen today are the pastors. Uh, the pastors are leading our people astray. The Bible said the watchmen are what? They are blind. So the watchmen show supposed to show the people where they err. Okay? Read. They are all they are all ignorant. Uh-huh. They are all dumb dogs. So the Bible say that in the last days the pastors are gonna be ignorant and dumb dogs. Right. Okay. They don't have an understanding of the Bible. Why? Because they don't keep God's commandments. Read on. They cannot bark, sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. They, they what? Loving to slumber. Uh-huh. Yay. They are greedy dogs. They are what? They are greedy dogs. How, how are they greedy dogs? Because they teach you uh, uh, tithing. Tithing was a, 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 was a Levitical priest. Tithing had, is done away with. We don't have Levitical priests. We don't sacrifice today. Read that part again. Hey, they are greedy dogs, uh -huh. which can never have enough. Which can what? Which can never have enough. So that's why they have mansions. That's why they have our jets. That's why they have Bentleys, Mercedes, because they are living off the people. Right. Right. And they are shepherds that cannot understand. Uh huh. They all look to their own way. They what? They all look to their own way. They look to their own way. They don't look to the way of their own people. They don't try to say to people, give me that act about how, 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 how we're supposed to deal with each other. Bring it out. How, we should, how, how, how the church is supposed to be set up in the New Testament, okay? Because in Christianity, they teach that the law has been done away with, but if the law has been done away with, tithing was a law. Tithing come from the Old Testament. Read. Acts chapter 4, verse 34. Neither was there any among them that lacked. Uh -huh. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. So when we came together and we had a lot, then we would deal with each other and we would sell those things and, and bring it to the, to the who? And brought the prices of the things that were sold and laid them down at the apostles' feet. To the leaders, okay? How you doing, bro? What's your name, bro? How you doing, Sean? Hey, y'all wanna yeah. step over here so y'all not on the street? Hey, uh, you know what we out here doing today? We out here showing our people who they are according to the Bible. Yeah. Okay? Because in in our captivity, don't you know we you in the captivity today, right? That's right. Okay, so in our captivity, they gave us Christianity. Right. Because this Christianity right here, come on, hold the sign. This Christianity, hold the sign up. Somebody, somebody, come on, hold the sign up. Okay? You see that cross right there? That's Christianity. That's what they, you see, you, these are the Native Americans right here. They came with this doctrine. And our people still follow this doctrine today. You see what I'm saying? So, it, these are the people that came with Christianity. So, we are here to show our people that that has nothing to do with us. But you put the sign down. Christianity also came with this white image. As they came with the cross, they also came with the white image of Christ. Okay? This is the face of Christianity. So, what we are here to do is show to our people that we've been lied to. That's right. We are caught up in all these philosophy that our oppressors came, came uh, uh, actually uh, killed us for. You know, if you didn't follow Christ, the white image of Christ, if you didn't follow Christ, then you were put to death. Right. Okay? So it was beaten to us. Okay? So we are we trying to show our people that we are the people of the book. Yeah. We are supposed to be following these. That's idolatry. Yeah. Okay? So uh, give me that in Deuteronomy 28. Bring it out. Give me the deal right. Let me prove the point that we are the children of the book. And so, if all these churches in America been set up by our oppressors through slavery. Right. Okay, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, <clears throat> verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments. All his what? All his commandments. So in Christianity, it's taught that the Bible, I mean, the, the, the laws have been done away with, right. but the law still exists. All the animal sacrifice been done away with. But he said all his what? All his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. Go ahead. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So this is Moses speaking to the Israelites saying, okay. if you don't follow God's laws, then all these curses are going to come upon us. Okay, so read on. Verse 16, uh -huh. cursed shall thou be in the city. Let me ask you something, Sean, right? Yeah. 
So, would you consider us to be a cursed people? You wouldn't consider us to be a cursed people? Look at the people on this side. Look at the people on this side. The blacks in America. Uh, you ever heard of black on black crime? Okay. You heard of uh, uh, who's in the ghettos? Us. Us, right? Do you, do you hear about uh, Chinese on Chinese crime? You hear about white on white crime? But you hear on black on black crime. That's a curse. Read, read this on top again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Uh -huh. Curse shall thou be in the city, uh -huh. and curse shall thou be in the field. So this is speaking today too. Yeah. So in the last days, if we didn't follow the laws that God sent through Moses to the ch children of Israel, then we're going to be cursed. Right. Okay? Jump down to 48. Matter of fact, jump to 45. Verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Hold up. You go to church here? Nah. You know? My sister, because I'm meeting my sister right now. You meet your sister right now? Okay. Yeah, I, I heard you. That's why I got my car. Oh, what, time, so, what, so, time, so, what time did she come out at? I think it's about 2 o'clock. They probably got about 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. So you, have you ever heard of Israelites? Yeah, I, was, I just I was telling the brother right there, I just got out of prison. I did 14 years. And I heard about the Israelites. I heard, you know what I'm saying? I went I went right. to search the truth, so I went All to praise, the Islam, you know, seeing All praise. Brother. All praise. But uh the church always confused me, so I didn't understand it. You know? Right, right. Well uh, what part confused you? Let me ask you that. What part of the church confused you? Like you said, it was the cross, man. You know, they like, cross. How are they gonna hang us on the put us it's, on the cross and, and then burn the cross, but exactly. they still wanna worship the cross. Exactly. And uh you in the Jim Crow era. Yeah, right. KKK. That's right. They came with what? Crosses. Yeah, yeah. What they do? Burn crosses. Yeah, yeah. Did you know that uh during the time of Christ, uh during the time of Christ, uh, that was a form of execution? Yeah. yeah. Right. They nailed you to the Christ. That's how they executed us. Right. Uh the Israelites. That's how they were killing us. Because right. uh give me uh give me that in uh at wrong uh in Acts. It was about the wrong. I think it's 18. You know what I'm talking about when it, when it speaks about the wrong uh, out of uh, I think it's 18 and three. Go to 18 and three Acts. So we are, we we were in these lands. Basically, what we teach you, what we trying to show you. Yeah. We were in these lands in Rome and in, in Corinth uh, or in, in Ephesus. You know, we got the book of the Ephesians. You got the Galatians. Right. These were black people that were scattered because sure, because right. the Lord said that it was a prophecy that the Lord was going to scatter us amongst all nations. So if we was in captivity in these lands, okay. after that we're gonna get to Luke 21. All right, read that. Romans chapter eight, I mean Acts chapter 18, verse one. Bring it out. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth uh -huh. and found a certain Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus. He said, he said he found a certain Jew named who? Named Aquila, born in Pontus. So you know Christ was a Jew, right? Right. Okay, we, I'm gonna show you some I'm gonna show you some regarding that next. Read. Lately, come from Italy uh -huh. with his wife Priscilla, Read. because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome. What, what did Claudius do? Claudius was the emperor during that time, uh, the Roman emperor. So he, what did Claudius do? Because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome. So basically saying. All Jews meaning all black people to get out of Rome. Get out of Trying to get, get them out of there, okay? Uh, is that on that? Is that it on that? Okay, go to uh, uh, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Let's, let's, let's find something out real quick. Let's find out about the Jews. What color were the Jews, okay? Because in, in, we, in, 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 a, in a society today, you think that the Jews being the people over in Israel, but those not the, the, the true Jews. They are Jewish. I, I, the ISH me pertaining to, right. you know, saying Jew. We, we we talking about the people of the Jew right. bloodline. Right. They be, they was converted. They were converted to Jew uh, to the, the the Jewish uh, way of life. Right. Read that. Jeremiah chapter fourteen verse two. Bring it out. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof languish. It says Judah is in mourning, and the gates thereof languish. So it says. The Jews are in mourning, and the gates meaning the gates was a place where the uh, when we was in our own land, we just go to the gates to the to the leaders, and that's where we get understanding of the laws. Okay, so when it's saying the gates, there of language mean the leadership language, meaning we are in mourning and our leaders language. So who who would be our leaders today? Let's find out if this happened to us today. Who would be our leaders today? 
our leaders amongst us, amongst the blacks, the blacks of America. Let's just stay, let's just stay with the black Americans right now, the so-called black Americans. Who would be our leaders today? You don't even really know. Yeah. Read, that, read that again. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. They are what? They are black unto the ground. That's the right. Jews are black unto the ground. Right. Meaning, give, show, them, show them why it says it's black unto the ground. Let's go to Genesis 2 and 7. Don't hold that, though. But we're going to go to uh, Genesis 2 and 7 tell you why they are black unto the ground. Read that. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord God in formed man of the dust of the ground uh -huh. and breathed into his nostrils. Now, now read from the top again. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. He said, and the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Right. When you when you when you dig under this grass right here, what what color is it gonna be? The dirt. It's gonna be a couple of different shoes to get all the way down. It's gonna be black. Man. It's gonna be black, but yeah. but say the, 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 the surface of it, what color is it gonna be? Probably brown. Brown. Then as you dig deep, it's going to be what? Black. Black, right? Read that part again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. Meaning dark brown. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So go back to, uh, uh, that's my point. I wanted to show the point why he said the Jews are black unto the ground. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof languish. Uh-huh. They are black unto the ground. So the Bible said that the Jews are black unto the ground. Right. So Christ, give me that Revelation 1 and 14. I know you heard it before. You haven't heard that Christ was a, a black man according to the Bible? Yeah. Let's, let's get it though. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Bring it out. His, well, read, read, read 3 first. Verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. It said, blessed is he that readeth, meaning you blessed if you read. Why? Because you can go in here and read for yourself and you ain't you ain't uh getting this understanding from a Christian uh, a, a Christian pastor that's been set up by it's been set, set up by our oppressors. Right. You see what I'm saying? Do, do they try to do they like the white people try to make every higher image to be white? Exactly. Superior, yeah. So we yeah. can buy down to them. Exactly. Okay. That's that's why they came with the image of Christ. They can't saying. they can't uh be, if you knew they Christ was a, uh, uh, get that too, for Christ being out of Judah, he's, uh, and, uh, and Hebrew. So if, if you knew that, that uh, Christ is, uh, Christ came from uh, Ashun, if you knew that uh, Christ was uh, a direct descendant of these people right here on this sign, right. then how, how are you gonna be able to enslave them? That's right, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So they couldn't show you, they couldn't, go, it, all type of images of uh, in the in uh, in the past where they depicted Christ as a black man. Yeah. Okay. They, had, they still had, you can go over Russia. You can go over to uh, all over in Europe, and you'll see these. Uh, huh? I got it. You got hey, hey, get that book. Somebody, somebody hold this for him. Get the book. Y'all, oh, some kind of church or what? what, what y'all? We, we 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 uh. You can you can say church per se, but churches just mean the people. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Where, where y'all It's not a it's not an actual church as, 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 as like today in America that you see. We but we have a, a look on the side. On the, uh, we have an address on the other side. Is that the new one? Is that a, a update one? Okay, on the bottom right there. That's the address of our school. You know what I'm saying? Right here Gastonia. in Gastonia. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We were in Concord, but now we are in, in Gastonia. Okay. And we have churches all throughout America. Uh, uh, over in the islands. We have churches uh, over in Africa, yeah. where we, in London, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Where we're establishing our people. We're coming back because why? The Lord's spirit is on earth today. That's right. And because right. destruction is coming to America. Yeah. Famine is coming to America. That's pestilence, right. you already seen the pestilence, the COVID and everything. That's be, that's that's all because the Lord is bringing destruction before before he brings it back to the sun. Right. So you think Christ coming back when he's gonna rule with Russia? He's gonna rule with North Korea? He's going to rule with America, Europe. No, he's coming to put these people. Give me that in 19. Revelation 19. Give me that Revelation 19. He's coming to destroy these kingdoms. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.